And here we have an area maximizing or maximization word problem that we're going to solve by completing the square. And let's get started. A barn is to be formed by enclosing a rectangular fenced area in an open field. The barn must also be split in half by a fence. Let me just start drawing this in order to separate the cattle from the chicken. Great. So, whoops. So what, what, what does that mean? Um, let me change the color here again. We want a fenced area in here as well, and we're going to use the fence to cover that. Uh, we have a total of 300 yards of fence to enclose the barn as well as the little fence in the middle here. So what are the dimensions of the barn with the greatest possible area? Okay, so let's get started by doing this. I'm going to say that this measures x. That measures y. So the area of this barn will be just x times y. Okay? Because the area of any rectangle is just the length times the width. So x times y. But we know that we only have 300 yards of fence. And where are we going to need to use the fence? Well, over here, x, and x again over here. Total of y over there, and y again. So we have 3y's, so 3y plus 2x must be equal to 300. And of course, we want to use all the fence because we want to maximize the area of the barn. Um, so what I'm going to do now is actually isolate x. So I can plug it in here. So I can get an area with just y instead of x as well. I don't want two variables there. So that doesn't make sense. Just bear with me. Keep watching the video. Hopefully you'll make great sense in the end. So 2x is equal to negative 3y plus 300. Then I can divide both sides by 2. So x is equal to negative 3y over 2, negative 1.5y. 300 divided by 2, just 150. Great. So now I take this and plug it in right here. So a is equal to negative 1.5y plus 150 times y. Now I can distribute the y in. Negative 1.5y times y is negative 1.5y squared. One 150 times y is 150y. Now, <clears throat> sorry, what should we do? We need to complete the square. So let's do that. What does that mean? I can just factor out negative 1.5 because negative 1.5y squared divided by negative 1.5 is just y squared, so I can leave that there. Now, well, actually, that's not a plus. 150y divided by negative 1.5 is negative 100y. Okay, so what do we do now? We want to complete the square, so I'm going to take the negative 100, I'll divide it by 2, and I'll square it. By the way, I'm assuming that you're familiar with this process. If not, of course, you can go to our website and check out completing the square. Negative 100 divided by 2 is negative 50, squared is 2500. I'm also going to have to take away 2500, I'm just adding that out of the blue, right? So, negative 1.5 times y squared minus 100y plus 2500. Now, I want to remove this outside of the parentheses. And to do that, I'm going to need to multiply it by 1.5. Rather, negative 1.5. Does that make sense? hope so. Because that is multiplying essentially everything that's inside. So, we get... 37, 50. Fantastic. So we get negative 1.5. This will factor into y minus 50 squared. Because how, how do we know that that's negative 50? I can just take the negative 100 and divide it by 2. Put it right there. So y minus 50 plus 37, 50. So we have successfully completed the square. And in other words, we have found the vertex of the area function. So that's the area, and that's y. 
if the vertex is at 50, comma, 37, 50. So the value of y that will maximize the area is 50. So 50 yards. And the max, what is the maximum area? 37.50, right there. But what is x? Because we're interested in finding the dimensions of the barn with the greatest possible area. To find x, I can just plug in 50 for y. Negative 1.5 times 50 is negative 75, plus 150 is just 75. So the dimensions of the barn with the greatest possible area are 50 yards by 75 yards. That's it. Hopefully that made good sense. But I'd still suggest you check out some questions and videos right here. Good luck.